To make your scone based pizza wheels, I've got 150 grams of self-raising flour in my bowl and 25 grams of margarine. I've also got 50 ml of milk and one egg ready. And with this, you put the milk in, the, it's much easier if you measure your 50 ml of milk into your measuring jug and then just break your egg on the top because you are going to add them both together and it's much easier if you have the egg in, sorry, milk in there first and add the egg to it and then you can just whisk those two together. So put your milk in your jug first, break your egg into it and whisk the two of those together. And the margarine or butter and the flour, same as with most recipes, we're going to rub the two in together to start with. Now there's not a lot of margarine here as this is a scone base and quite a lot of flour. So just cut it into little bits, rub it in. Remember, thumbs over fingertips, keep the palm of your hand clean if you can. Just use your thumbs over your fingertips until you can't see any lumps of margarine. And the way to check if you've done that if you remember is just to shake your bowl and all the large lumps will come up to the top. So once you've rubbed that in and you can't see any more large lumps of butter or margarine just make a well in the centre with a knife and pour in most of your egg and milk mixture. Remember when adding wet to dry we don't normally put it all in in one go because we don't want this mixture to be too sticky we've got to be able to roll this out so add most of your wet mixture to that and we want a soft dough and I have not needed I could have done with less mixture than that because that is a really soft sticky dough that's going to be tricky to roll out but that's fine I'll cope with that it's just going to sit in the bowl for a bit until I am ready to use that while I make the toppings okay for my toppings I've grated 50 grams of cheddar cheese and I have three tablespoons of passata and a teaspoon of mixed herbs which I'm just going to mix together. You can prepare other toppings or fillings for this if you want to at school. Um, you can bring them in from home, you can use onion, mushroom, peppers, bit of ham, sweet corn, it's entirely up to you. Now my dough, as I said before, is very soft, it's quite wet even though I didn't put all of the milk and egg in there but I'm just going to roll this out so it's got to be rolled out into a rectangle so despite the fact that it's really soft I'm just putting a bit of flour on my hands I've put that down onto a floured worktop and I'm going to try not to add too much flour to it because I don't want it to be too dry so just knead it gently on a little bit of flour don't need to use spoonfuls and spoonfuls of flour on this I just want to coat the outside with some flour I'm just going to put a little bit more down and I'd rather do two thin coatings of flour than one really thick one and then I need to roll this out and because it's sticky I'm going to turn it every time I have rolled it because I definitely do not want it sticking to the worktop. So if you're worried about it sticking to the worktop, just keep adding extra flour underneath, a little bit of flour on top and keep rolling it. And you really want it to be a quite thin dough and that is plenty big enough for making the pizza. 
pizza wheels. So the next thing that you need to do is get your toppings or your fillings in here. So I'm going to spread the passata and tomato puree over the dough but not quite up to the edge because when you roll this up it does tend to squash out a little bit. So leave yourself a little bit of edge free just to make it a bit easier and then sprinkle with cheese and then if you've got other fillings that you want to use you add them on top of the cheese so if you've got some chopped ham finely chopped onion or pepper anything else that you want to use just put them down on top of the cheese and then we're going to roll this up as if we were making a Swiss roll so starting at one long end just press it over and start rolling so that you have a very large or very long Swiss roll and you can see as you start rolling it pushes the cheese and tomato towards the edge and you need to make sure that not too much cheese and tomato actually falls out the edge and this should be divided up into about 12 pieces so the easiest way to divide it up cut it in the middle, cut it into quarters and then I know I'm going to want about three pieces from each quarter. So if I mark it like that before I start cutting it's easier and you place it on your baking tray and I'm just going to, because it's a little bit sticky, I just want to dip the edge of my knife in there. You place it on your baking tray that way up so that you can see the swirls of the filling. So cut your pieces of pizza swirls as evenly as you can and place them sideways on your baking parchment and I'm using baking parchment because the um, cheese and tomato if it bubbles out will stick and burn or can stick and burn on the baking tray so if you want to you can just flatten them down a little bit with your finger but they need to be that way up to go into the oven. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes on a hot oven, gas mark 6, 200 degrees. Okay, the pizza wheels are cooked, the uh, scone is brown and the cheese has gone golden and melted into the tomato. So these are, you're able to pick them up easily and they're not too soft so these are now done and they've been in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes.